quickly uh, we wish to be a world class educational institute with ample focus on research and development and at the same time encouraging innovation ecosystem on campus next slide but we keep our feet firmly on the ground and make sure that the work we do is socially relevant also industry facing and globally connected so as we walk through our uh, introduction we will see that we have several linkages across the globe we have six departments here uh, right from computer science and engineering electronics and communication engineering social sciences human centered design computational biology and maths and as you will see that all of them are highly uh, interdisciplinary in terms of the research work that is being carried out at the institute next slide a lot of our uh, faculty members as you will see in the next slide uh, have either got a phd abroad or have uh, a postdoc experience from outside we have 85 plus faculty members now it is close to 90 and uh, they bring in diverse set of experience from across the globe next slide we'll now go to some a uh, little bit of details about our educational program next slide we have seven btech programs and as you can see we have the vanilla flavored uh, program in computer science and engineering uh, also btech in cce but then we are we have very interesting interdisciplinary programs by definition so you have computer science and design unique in the country computer science and social sciences computer science and biosciences so these are very very interdisciplinary btech programs and very recently we started a computer science and artificial intelligence program as well next slide this slide gives us an idea about mtech programs in three departments with specializations so uh, within each mtech program you can have specific specialization Uh, in the ec vertical we revamped our mtech programs very recently and we introduced uh, specialization in machine learning and one in cyber physical systems very recently next slide triple iit delhi has a thriving phd program a uh, lot of phd scholars well supported in all the departments with stipends travel support overseas research fellowships and very good mentoring by our faculty next slide as i mentioned earlier we have lot of strong linkages across the world and this is a representative list of some of the universities we collaborate with there are many many more next slide another thing that we are uh, trying to do is uh, our international students program we have an office of international affairs where we are uh, trying to increase the number of undergraduate and pg students uh, and we have a very nice structured way of admitting our students and this we believe adds a lot of diversity on campus next slide let me take a couple of minutes to show you about our research which gets done uh, in the departments but also in the research centers so here are these research centers these are pretty much uh, you know interdisciplinary as you will see by the nature of these names and uh, we started with the center for ai which is doing exceedingly well center on design and new media also some very focused centers like center for technology and policing to help the delhi police we have center of excellence in healthcare which is doing fundamental work especially in the wake of the pandemic and very recently we started center for sustainable mobility to look at the traffic and congestion problem issues within the ncr next slide the other important thing that we have is a focus on sustainable development goals for the un agenda 2030 and we have several projects as you can see here on various sustainable development goals and this is a an endeavor towards making an impact 
for uh, contributing back to society. Next slide. Another important thing that the Institute focuses on is an innovation ecosystem. And if, if you look at the next slide, we recently started a technology innovation hub with a over 100 crore funding from DST very recently. And the focus is on cognitive computing and social sensing. But specifically, we are looking at two verticals. One deals with low cost personalized healthcare and the other one is on automating legal services, the need of the hour. We also have a very strong uh, entrepreneurship uh, center which is we call the incubation center. Next slide, please. Yes, it's coming up. So the incubation center at IIIT Delhi is well-funded externally from government sources, MIT, DST, Delhi government. And currently there are close to 25 uh, incubated companies on campus. And we also give various kinds of support, right? From mentorship to seed money, to also introducing them to potential VCs to help uh, our newly incubated companies take the next step. Class next Some of the outreach work that we do within the incubation center and also a pre-cube, uh, which is a program for pre-incubation, we focus on certain areas which are listed in the slide, right from cybersecurity to computational biology, uh, robotics and drone technology, et cetera, so that we have some deep tech incubated companies, which is also our focus. Next slide. One of our statements in our vision document is to be industry facing. And this slide talks about some of the strong industry linkages that we have. And there are several more. Every month we sign a couple of MOUs for industry-sponsored research projects. So it, it's, a, it's in the DNA of the Institute to have industry collaborations. Next slide. As you saw, we have a modern green campus and we did a virtual tour. So this slide is just a, the, just a capture of how this looks. The campus looks even more beautiful if you visit physically. So again, we extend a warm welcome to you. Next slide. Uh, we'll go over the next few slides very quickly because these are uh, student life and uh, may not uh, be of that much interest, but I'll give you a glimpse that we have been increasing our student intake uh, gradually, but surely we take in now more than 600 undergraduate students. Next slide. About 73% of our students are undergraduate and rest are MTech, but as you can see now close to 10% of our PhD students uh, form the student body. So one tenth of our student population is PhDs. Next slide. A little bit about diversity, as I mentioned, we have uh, we are increasing the representation for, from various countries, and these are the set of uh, countries being represented by students. And this diversity list is growing. Next slide. We have modern sports facilities, and again, when you visit our campus physically, we will be happy to take you on a tour. Next slide. Next slide, please. We have, uh, okay, the slide that you see now uh, talks about where our alumni go. And as you can see, a lot of our students go for higher education across the globe. And this is a representation of some of the places where our students get actually get uh, job offers or get opportunities to carry out higher studies. Plus there are a lot of uh, places within the country which uh, you know, are happy to take our students. The following slide gives you the list of top recruiters uh, last year. And this list is also ever growing. Our placement record is uh, over 96%. We take pride in stating that we are a woman friendly campus and we have some specific initiatives to encourage the participation of uh, uh, lady faculty and students into various activities. Next slide. 
uh, modern infrastructure. I will not emphasize too much. Uh, you have to come and see uh, the, uh, the beautiful campus that we have. Next slide. And finally, trying to come to a close, uh, this is one of our iconic signages that you perhaps observed during the virtual walkthrough tour. Next slide. Uh, this is a green rating uh, for four-star Griha rating for a green campus. Next slide. Uh, Triple ITD has been, uh, you know, featuring in uh, top rankings uh, internationally also, and uh, this is a way we, you know, take feedback to improve our internal processes. Next slide. Next slide. All right, so that brings me to the end of this brief introduction uh, to this institute. And once again, uh, I am happy to welcome you though virtually uh, to this uh, wonderful and active workshop that you're going to attend. So please participate with uh, you know, full enthusiasm and also uh, kindly ask questions, interact with your friends and the new friends that you're going to make. And I will also like to congratulate uh, the organizing team and Anuj for putting this together. Uh, I'm sure this will transform the way we do things going forward. So I wish you all and this workshop all the very best. Over to you, Anuj. Uh, thank you, Ranjan. Uh, thank you for the, uh, for the inauguration uh, and the uh, for sharing your ideas with us. Uh, we will now start the session. And uh, Ranjan, if you, if you are busy, then you can leave. Otherwise, it would be a joy to have you here and continue with the session. Uh, so- Yeah, I, I will see. Uh, I may have to drop out after some time, but please carry on. Sure. So coming back to our presentation, uh, Just give me a minute. Yeah. So the next five days are uh, are arranged in this manner. Uh, we have uh, like in this in this session we will have inauguration and the introductions. Uh, in the later part of the day we will have two sessions on foundations of effectiveness. See, when we talk of leading oneself or about leadership, then it is simply not possible to, uh, to discuss leadership without actually looking at the aspects uh, which are fundamental to leading oneself. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, we will spend quite a bit of time today uh, on, on these fundamentals, these basics for... Uh, uh, these basics for effectiveness, for being a good human being and a good person uh, and a good leader. Uh, tomorrow, we will start with uh, sessions on uh, leading cells. So tomorrow and on Sunday, we will have these sessions on how to lead ourselves to, to a life of jo a joy, you know, to a life where we, we can be joyful and uh, we can make a meaningful difference to others and to our own lives. Uh, from tomorrow onwards, we will have these sessions on uh, yoga. So the last the evening session will be a session in which very simple, basic, but very powerful uh, yoga tools will be shared with us. Uh, because when you want to do yoga, you need to be in a kind of empty stomach condition. Therefore, we will start uh, or we will have the lunch break uh, a little earlier tomorrow. So. Uh, on a daily basis, we'll have our first session starting from 9.30 until 11.30. Session two will be, we'll have a 30 minute break and then session two will be from 12 noon to 2 p.m. Then we will have a lunch break and then we will have our last session of the day from 3 to 5 p.m. However, tomorrow, since we have 
this yoga session and where we would be doing some physical movement and yoga uh, we will have our lunch break at uh, 11:30 and the session 2 instead of starting at 12 it will start at 12:30 what this will ensure is that by the time our session 3 starts we would be in a uh, you know light to empty stomach condition so that we can do the yoga practices uh, properly then we will come back to our regular schedule we will continue with uh, the leading self sessions on sunday in fact i would want to tell you that the session that we will do on sunday morning is really really very powerful uh, we will be working on a life mission statement in that session and uh, i would you know request you to make the best use of that session it's it's something that uh, that can be completely life changing in fact uh, in my personal experience this this put this overall workshop can be very powerful but uh, for many of us at least for me personally this session uh, on sunday morning was the most powerful one was a life changing one for me and i will share with you uh, more about it later uh so on sunday by sunday evening we would have kind of looked at uh, how to lead oneself to a life of happiness and joy and we will kind of end the session with uh, uh, with a introduction to what is called as inner engineering and uh, uh, a meditation on success then on the following day that is monday we will start with how to lead uh, others we will start with how to manage our relationships with others and uh, how to make a meaningful impact on other people's lives and this will continue until tuesday morning which is the last day of our workshop and uh, then you know we will kind of have a closure feedback and a meditation on peace on the last day now these timings uh, these sessions are two hour sessions so they are slightly long so i will try to keep them slow and if possible i would also try to give you slightly longer breaks you know all of us uh, faculty over here we understand that the retention uh, steeply falls off after about one and a half hours of sessions so uh, we will see that uh, we keep some activities going we have something uh, in which we kind of reenergize ourselves and it's not a monotone uh, through these two hours and if needed we will close the sessions a little earlier so that uh, uh, we don't just rant on and 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 the learning actually does seep in okay so uh, with that uh, if you have any questions uh, about the workshop or anything that you would want to know you can um, uh, please raise your hand and i would be happy to uh, share more information about what we have discussed till now uh one thing that i would want to request is that please uh, update your usernames as uh, as you are appearing on this uh, zoom meeting to how you would want to be addressed uh because uh, that is the only way for me to know you and and to address you or for anyone else in this meeting to know you and address you so if you go on the if you go in right in front of your name and the, you will see that an arrow will appear and you can uh, click on that arrow and then you can uh, choose the option to rename please rename yourself to the way you would want to be addressed during this session or during this this entire training or this entire workshop uh i see uh alamelu has the hand raised uh would you want to share something you can unmute yourself and speak please so if you would want to raise your hand then you will see that there is a uh there is a icon that is that will appear uh uh hello when you click on the button of reactions hello. and you can raise your hand yes salamelu please speak uh, sir good morning sir it's very nice to meet you all and it was a very nice introduction about your session uh, this is i don't have actually any doubts uh, as far as the first session is concerned uh, maybe during the later sessions we may have some doubts uh, 
So I just said an hi to all the participants. Uh, this hand raised uh, earlier, not now. Okay, thank you, Alamelu. Thank, thank you, and uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. I'm so happy that you broke the ice and you started to speak. Even though you had raised your hand earlier, you you still took the courage and the initiative to speak. Thank you for that. It really means a lot. And I see other people are also now raising their hands. Kamal, thank you, Alamelu. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So please, uh, one more thing. I would request that uh, instead of calling me, sir, like, you know, I have put, I, I want to be addressed as Anuj. So please feel free to call me Anuj and, and let's have an interactive session over here. Uh, sure, Anuj. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Anuj. Good morning. Uh, this is uh, actually Professor of Medicine from Chittinad Hospital uh, from Tamil Nadu. So I am from uh, the reputed institution, Chittinad Medical College. Uh, Kelam Bakam Chennai. So I think uh, it's been an opportunity to be associated with you all for the for this uh, another uh, four, five days. So probably four days from uh, tomorrow. So it's nice to uh, it's nice to join with you all uh, to have a, a better a better information with regard to the uh, leadership qualities. Just to have a better uh, better sessions hereafter. And uh, the timing alone, so I thought uh, the timing would be restricted to four o'clock, but uh, since it is extended uh, extend up to five o'clock, because um, uh, we may have to travel from our place, it's nearly 58 kilometers from this place to our uh, residence. Oh. So only that is, uh, it becomes a concern, that doesn't matter. So, uh, welcome. Traveling uh... time because so the you, as you all know that uh, like Delhi, the metro is also flooded with traffic, especially during uh, evening hours. So our uh, our actually our activities gets over only by four o'clock. So after that we'll be traveling for nearly one and a half to two or two hours nearly. So to travel fifty eight kilometers it takes nearly two hours. So it doesn't matter, but uh, anyway. So I think we'll be having a, a very pleasant uh, pleasant uh, sessions and uh, discussions. So thank you once again for the opportunity. Thank you. Welcome, Dr. Rao. And uh, you yeah. can call me Mohan also if you want. Okay. I don't need age, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so age is uh, not a matter, it's only the number. Yeah, yeah. So welcome, Mohan. And uh, I, I really look forward to a very good interactive session. Yes, um, yes, yes. Hi, Anuj. Yeah. Hi, Ma Malavika. Yes. Um, I didn't find the raised hand sign on my laptop, so I just, without raising my hand, I'm interrupting probably. Um, I have two questions. One question from uh, Mr. Ranjan Bose's presentation. He has shown that uh, there are uh, 66 male faculties and only 14 female faculties. So I was just wondering what may be the reason for that. Yeah, that's a very beautiful question, Malabika. But uh, IIIT Delhi is an engineering institute. All the programs, as you noticed, are engineering programs. Even though we have a very strong social science department, but we are a predominantly engineering institute and social science department, uh, like uh, our students have to mandatorily do some courses on social sciences. We have courses on economics. We have courses on uh, uh, psychology. We have courses on uh, anthropology and, and a wide range, you know. But uh, we, we still, you know, have a very strong... Uh, engineering character as an institute. We are an engineering institution. All the degrees that we offer are BTECs, MTECs, and then PhDs are also in engineering largely. And uh, the, the sad state of affairs for the country is that in engineering colleges, uh, the number of girls joining for you know, even the BTEC programs is actually much lower. Uh, somewhere we have, we will talk about it later in this course also, in this training also. Uh, and uh, somewhere, you know, as a society, there is a mindset that uh, girls should go for uh, arts or uh, medical medicine. And engineering is a hard thing and, and rough and tough thing. And so girls should not go for engineering. Something like that has happened uh, is is there this is changing this is changing significantly like i remember that when i did my btech uh, in my entire i did my btech from iit delhi and in my entire batch of around 420 students there were hardly 15 girls so uh, that's that's not even 5% of uh, you know 
population and the incoming BTEC students that we have girls, much fewer go ahead and do uh, masters and still less uh, go ahead and pursue PhD programs. So uh, in fact, you will realize that uh, given this terrible skew that we have, the skew and gender ratio that we have in engineering colleges across the country, uh, and uh, you know, doing a PhD takes much longer and uh, there is a very strong pressure probably on, on our you know, girls to get married and, and do whatever. Uh, what happens is that very few actually get to do PhD, get to enter into academic institutions like IIIT Delhi. Despite that uh, you know, significant skew against uh, women, uh, I would say that you should appreciate that we still have uh, a, a better percentage of representation by women faculty at uh, IIIT Delhi. In fact, uh, we just had a farewell for our uh, graduating uh, master's uh, batch, BTEC batch of this year. And uh, RHOD, she's a lady, and uh, we actually exhorted all the students. And, you know, uh, uh, it's not just her, whoever then also spoke about this, uh, you know, uh, giving, giving tips to our students. We actually told our students that, see, in engineering, already very few girls come in. And uh, when you actually have girls as your colleagues, instead of being threatened by them, you should actually participate in their growth. You should encourage them and you should help that, uh, you know, we have a more diverse workspace. So at IIIT Delhi, there is a very strong and a constant endeavor to, you know, promote gender equality, gender neutrality. In fact, uh, to promote gender equality, we have to sometimes uh, put gender neutrality aside and encourage females, uh, encourage female colleagues much, much more. And that we do, because otherwise, if we just make our campus gender neutral, then we cannot even imagine to have anything better than, you know, the 5% uh, ratio of BTEC students that we had in my engineering uh, BTEC program or something like that. So uh, thank you for asking this question, uh, Malabika. Yeah, and yeah, I think... I, to, I just want to say that I'm very proud to be a member of our university. Because you said rightly, when I started 40 years back, BTEC, then I was the only girl in the class, in the whole class, right? But I'm very proudly saying that in our university, it's a technical university, you can say that, but still the girls and boys ratios are 60, 60 and even the faculty, female and male, are 60 again. So uh, probably you said that the girls are pressurized for getting married, and this part of the country, actually girls get uh, more suitable grooms if they, they do be So probably that would be another reason so many girls are coming to study. This is so beautiful. And, and thank you for sharing this because uh, we really need to have many, many more such examples to set this, uh, this skew correct. And uh, thank you for sharing this example and, uh, uh, and welcome to this workshop. You okay. also had another question, Alavika. No, I don't. Uh, oh yeah, I had. Yes, yes, I forgot. You say that uh, the meditation uh, will be there almost every day from uh, three to five stations. But you know that five o'clock station, five o'clock, I'll be at my department college. So I was just wondering how can I make it possible to meditate uh, sitting in the faculty room at that time? Uh, so um, one idea could be that you connect by your, with your phone and uh, uh, keep the earphones on so that you don't disturb others and you're not distracted by others. Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm putting the earphone and all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but still, I'll try my best. But I sure. don't know how much I can concentrate. I'll try yeah. my best. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome again, Malavika. Uh, uh, Kush? Hello. Yes. Am I audible, sir? Yes, Kush, you are audible. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, sir. Thank you for organizing such a nice, wonderful office, sir. Uh, sir, I have one question. Ki, may we get this recording also? Or can you get the recording, sir? Or uh, can you yes. watch this? So, uh, AICTE mandates that these recordings be made available not just to the participants, but to everyone. So, these recordings will be curated. We will remove the the parts which are confidential and which need not be shared. We'll remove those parts and then the recordings will be shared uh, on YouTube and the link will be provided on the Atal website later. 
it's okay so actually because this workshop is very helpful for everyone so i want that my siblings my friends should also learn from this yeah yeah so the recordings will be made available later on at our website okay. thank you so much and as participants i can also directly send the recording to you once i put them on youtube so thank you so much yeah welcome kush so uh, if there are no more questions about the logistics of the program till now uh, i would suggest that we that we spend some time getting to know each other better so we will break out into uh, uh, into smaller rooms where i would request that you turn your camera on so that others can see you and uh, as you do that i would request that you um you know share uh, your name uh, who you are where you come from uh, your experience and uh, what is it that you want to take back from this program so you had a very brief glimpse of uh, what to expect in this program so uh, i would suggest that uh, you you take uh you know one minute to reflect within yourself as to what your expectations are and uh, i will split us into smaller breakout rooms where you can go and uh, uh interact with each other each breakout room will have around uh, four to five people and uh, we will come back to this main meeting room in in say 10 minutes from now is that okay so you will have about a minute or two to introduce yourself and getting to know each other so when you introduce yourself uh, it would be a good thing to share your hobbies it would be a good thing to share what you like what you don't like and and very importantly what is it that you want to take back from this program from this uh, uh this five day sessions that we are going to have towards the end of these five days what is it that you want to change in your life and you want to take back with yourself okay so i will initiate the breakout rooms and uh, you can uh, Uh, once you are in the breakout rooms i would request that you turn the cameras on i will jump into one or two breakout rooms to just to, to say hi and uh, we will we will see how things go okay just give me a moment so you must have already received a request to join uh, some breakout room i would request you to please join them and uh, uh, once you join please turn on your cameras start to interact you can please join your breakout rooms uh are you facing any trouble joining the breakout rooms anjali chitrala fatima can i help you in some way atul harshvardhan sanjana is there some way i can help you please join your breakout rooms sunita
your other other you know group members in your breakout rooms are waiting to know you better uh you have to talk about your you have to share your name your uh you know what you do where you are from and why you are here today what is it that brings you to this session please join your breakout rooms sorry Uh, all the participants please join the breakout rooms your group members over there are waiting for you they want to know you more please join Hi. Hey. So, how are you doing here in this room? Ah, uh, sir, are you able to hear, sir? Yes, you are audible, Sunil. Yeah, I actually am uh, myself Subramanyam, Chidral Subramanyam. That I am uh, basically from Andhra, but now I am in Karnataka from the last ten years. I am working in the New Horizon College of Engineering as a mass faculty. I started the introduction of that I to play it really nice, but I signed the programs. As a mathematics faculty, I like only maths. You can understand because thirty thirty years experience, thirty plus years experience I have. Uh, I just I saw one uh, program CS with applied mathematics. Uh, how can I get the information that course uh, syllabus and all? Uh, yeah, you can go to yeah, you can go to the Triple IIT Delhi website and all the details are available there, Subramanya. Yeah, if it is uh, nice, uh, I want to that I just have taken that. Um, snapshot of that is a programs and all uh, if it is nice and all if i want to inform our principal if it is yeah, they yeah, like yeah. Uh, we we also can introduce that course because as a mathematics uh, 30 plus years so i was uh, fully in that one only interest that is why i am asking okay that's beautiful so you can go to our website all the details program regulations okay. course work what happens in which semester everything is available there yeah yes yeah, sir and uh, can we get that um, uh, Question papers and all, just to see that uh, 
how the questions they are framing and all you can check with the faculty there they should be able to share yeah yes okay sir sure sure okay okay thank you yeah so please introduce yourself some to each other and get to know each other better we are three people three other people in this room so uh, i may ask you to introduce one of your partners uh, when you come back to the main room okay oh uh, okay <laughs> this time i will ask well yeah, yeah. some please. four get to know or... each other very well yeah yeah four members are there sir still yeah see you uh i think uh, dr sunil j r j so friends you can go back to your go to your uh, meeting rooms introduce yourself to your friends please join your meeting rooms if if you've already done then that's great otherwise if not done yet if you uh, if you still want to share something uh, please do so Hi, morning, Anuj. Good morning, Kamal Preet. It was really nice. I just for a moment, I've uh, just experienced like you know we uh, send the students to breakout group activities. I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, two of my you know batchmates were not talking, were not interested. They occupied, but due to some restricted, I might be busy. Uh, so Sindhu was there, and it was pleasure to know uh, her. she's from uh, chennai amazing amazing experience so welcome kaval preet why don't you also you. introduce yourself first because now we have people joining in they are they are closing from their breakout rooms so why don't you also introduce yourself so that all of us get to know you better Yo, can you see my batchmate is there sindhu hi <laughs> we just met and uh, the best part that we are blessed for two growing daughters both of us oh. so it's wonderful right amazing so hi everyone this is kavipreet sahani from chandigarh mohali and i'm working as an assistant professor in chandigarh university right and i feel blessed to uh, have uh, you know wonderful family dear husband and two beautiful uh, amazing daughters right always uh, so much to learn from these youngsters right and i'm very i am very delighted to join this uh, amazing workshop looking forward right so me and sandhu was sindhu was just discussing that how to the main motive to join this uh, workshop uh, it's like how i can be a better human being because when we are dealing with the students is exactly 70 to 80 people in our lectures right so almost it's like a mini society right right away so how during our lectures besides our uh, syllabus part like uh, you have uh, all uh, like you just shared anuj that how uh, it's becoming mandatory for along with the engineering subjects we have social sciences and all other courses how to better uh, how to you know help them to grow as better so i am also the department mentor coordinator i have 44 uh, colleagues with me working as a mentor of 36 students each group right so it's been amazing journey 
and uh, like i am also practicing nichiren darshan and buddhism so it's like it's always what is there i need to change within to report victory outside so oneness of life and its environment so amazing journey and looking forward to have wonderful experience right thank you so much for patience listening have a great day all and happy the share to everyone thank you kavalpreet so uh, and and a big big thank you for opening the stage and being so candid and sharing about your life with us uh, as i mentioned it is through these sharings that we will actually learn much much more in the next 5 days yes. because uh, you know just like uh, uh, ma'am shared a little while back that in my my assumption was that engineering colleges will not have Uh, probably good number of girl students but she said that in her college there are really a large number of girl students and yes, this is such yes. a beautiful heartwarming experience for me because i never knew that so and here here sorry to interrupt here we are having like uh, in my academic unit 4 there are more than 1700 student we have five uk academics so we are i am dealing with first year btech students right so we have csc students and it's a good ratio over there for girls right so it's wonderful Yeah. and uh, more of them uh, most of them are the class representatives taking the lead so that's amazing experience right yes so in fact uh, that is what i also noticed that uh, because for example we are a largely it institute in our institute also in the btech programs uh, we do not have that 5% decimal ratio that i had in my btech days uh, we have uh, things are you know, changing it, have yeah, changed a changing. lot yes. but even then you know in the mtech and the phd programs you see that the ratio kind of starts to dwindle and uh, i think uh, things will things are already changing for the better and they will improve they but are, they are i i will not agree with you or at all like you said that marriage thing is a restriction no things have changed i i see i told you i have got two daughters sindhu will also agree with me not in my near you know uh, wildest dreams that i am planning uh, to get her married in, uh, like in like coming 3 years i want her to settle down because she has struggled uh you know uh, she has really worked hard and i really want her to grow and settle down financial stability is very important right and it's it's going to happen it the yeah. marriage is not the ultimate thing things have changed a lot for girls yeah. even that's so heartwarming to realize and and to know and yeah. uh, i think it's just a matter of time that we will have more or, and better gender parity across even the engineering colleges and 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 places like uh, iits yeah, and yeah. triple iits yes thank you thank you kamal please um uh, someone else please come forward and share about your yourself your experiences uh, uh good morning sir uh, good morning please anuj call me anuj <laughs> good morning anuj i am from hyderabad i am working for kmit keshi memory institute of technology where we have 55% of girl students in our uh, btech programs wow 55% i think this is the trend in entire andhra and telangana so i was just wondering why there is only 5% 10% of uh, uh, women participation in fact in my college more than 40% are um, women staff ah that's beautiful yes ha ah, in my r and d team we are 17 in r and d our focus is to train students uh, for upcoming uh, examinations and placements and um, uh, company readiness within 17 nine are women uh, faculty wow beautiful. all of them are btech mtech in computer science hmm. and some of them are phd too yes that's beautiful see i think uh, Uh, it's because of the uh, rest, uh, you know a particular stream also mechanical uh, engineering you will not yes, find yes. girls civil yes. engineering you will hardly find any girls right so yes. csc it's more into artificial intelligence specialization yes. you will find more girls so depending on the field also yes. so yes. it's not about the college who is having 5% or 10% it's because of the stream i feel that is my experience right Girls yeah. are more, uh, not they are not going to opt for very rare uh, percentage you will find from uh, mechanical learning okay. engineering. Very right? true, very true. Madam, as Madam said, things have changed, and still um, certain things have to change. Seishu, you can and call me Kaval, is... please. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Call me Kaval. Yeah. Kaval. As Kaval said, uh, things are changing, and some more change is required, especially from parents' uh, side and. Uh, from corporate uh, side, from college side. Okay. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, Seshu. Uh, actually, good morning. Good morning, Premanan. Uh, actually, you know, like, uh, sir, when um, uh, Savin is talking about the mechanical engineering that's a girl, uh, I've seen many colleges like in Bangalore and uh, Kerala, if you can see, a lot more uh, girls have joined in mechanical engineering. So what he said is the things have changed. That is my suggestion. And now girls are proactive. Nowadays, I am able to see that instead of boys and the girls are so proactive and uh, in terms of taking uh, their leadership in the field of mechanical, because now mechanical become an automation. I have, if you have a, a, agreed of my point, a industrial automation 4.0 is already existing. So I'm sure that uh, girls are metabolic, they are going because uh, last week uh, I had a small uh, interaction uh, with the mechatronics and mechanical and the electronic department. I've seen many girls were come for the placement and boys were very, very few and they were not able to be very, very few. I don't know why boys are not participating, but girls were so productive. So that is why I'm telling you, uh, Madam, I'm so, sorry to... No, 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 please. Uh, thanks, Premanand. In fact, I'm very happy. It's a state, uh, <laughs> you know, state update. I'm very glad to hear this, you know. Yeah, there yeah, should be no restrictions, like right? Like yeah. you, I can see you also, you are so proactive when you are talking about it. That is why the girls are some proactive and they are doing like, and I'm sure that in, in coming days, like more girls are uh, really empowered this nation to go forward. So I'm sure that um, Narendra Modi, uh, G, uh, uh, Narendra Modi ji have taken a great step for women empowerment and women uh, related programs uh, really because he knows like the girls will be doing in future uh, in a great way like they have essentially uh, talent they have. So they are coming up. No, not those days have gone, but the things have changed. That's what the professor has said. I really agree with you. Things have already changed. You need not worry about it. Everything is changed and girls will definitely move on. The boys have to come up. That is the equal participation. I, I urge to the girls, boys have to have equal participation of the girls and girls. Now it's 50%. So I'm really, thank you. This is what I want to share. Thank, yeah. you. Sorry. thank, thank you, Premanand. Welcome to this session. And uh, please also do share uh, what is it that you want to you know, take back from this session. So what I will do is I will also start to share a mind map uh, with all of us. I will start to build a mind map, which would kind of consolidate our thoughts on what is it that we want to take back from this workshop? What is it that we want to improve? And then as we look at those expectations from all the participants, it will help us to you know organize the next five days. So while there is a broad level agenda that we will focus on, you know, a leading self and focus on leading others uh, later. But uh, depending on what this cohort, what this group is looking at, you know, uh, much more, we, I, I will be happy to, you know, adjust the session so that all of us have a meaningful takeaway from this session. So uh, just give me a minute. I will open my mind map view with you. So Yes, uh, you should be able to see my uh, yes. mind map on my screen. Yeah. Yes. So uh, please, uh, I would say unmute yourself and feel free to share what is it that you would want to take back uh, from this session. So I already saw a message in the chat box from Vidya. Uh, she's saying I would want to learn more about time management. Okay. Uh, others, please. Uh, unmute and, and share. Uh, hi, I know Svetansli here. Hi, uh, Svetansli. My expectation is uh, from uh, this workshop is like uh, how to use our energy. Like uh, I'm managing with two small kids, uh, the career break also there. So how I utilize this my energy? Basically. I just uh, in my uh, I just opened my startup. So how to manage time, family? And okay, so I, I essentially can I can I uh, further add this in uh, you know in this head only balance uh, work and personal life. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. Thank you, Sutanjali, for sharing. Hi, Anuj. Uh, in fact, I'm expecting uh, more on the human touch and how you can able to lead to the excellence. Uh, when you are dealing with the human to uplift the society for a betterment. This okay, is, so, is my expectation. Uh, can, can, I, uh, can I put it something like uh, how to manage your 
how how to manage relationships with your uh, you know peers and subordinates is that uh, peers and subordinates is fine but with the students in the society is more focus okay because we are quite busy with our own daily routine and we are just getting less time for the society mm -hmm. so, so more focus on the society so that uh, you can able to whatever you have learned till now you can able to share your experience with the society so some some platform where you can able to because right now we are all the teachers and uh, we are sharing but are we able to share this to the society maybe we can share to the student but overall we are living in a society so that is what is my core uh, thought process wow thank you thanks a lot for sharing thank you anuj anuj this is uh, mohan mohan rao yes, mohan yes uh, yes actually i am i am in touch with the students for nearly two decades and uh, i am holding the head of department for nearly 10 years so mm -hmm. i just want to update i want to update and uh, refine my qualities so as a leader so i just want to refine my qualities and to overcome the stresses stress if any comes on and off i just want mm -hmm. to uh have an idea about this stress management in particular so especially with the fellow humans whether it is junior or senior i just want to learn a new learn the newer things with regard to the uh, qualities of a leader and the uh, management with regard to the stress okay so stress management is one thing that i have put in there and uh, qualities of a leader am i right yes yes yeah so we will we'll go through them definitely definitely for sure so uh, uh, let me just uh, uh, we have four or five items on the board already so let me just share that uh, in the time management part we will spend quite a bit of time when we work on habit 3 that will be on day 2 uh, day 3 actually on day 3 we will talk uh, in detail about time management uh, the relationships part uh do uh do the intent was more about how to contribute uh the how to contribute section would we would cover on uh, on sunday when the first session that i talked about we would talk about it there we would also cover a bit of it to tomorrow that is on saturday but uh yes on sunday we will definitely go in detail of how to make a meaningful contribution to others uh managing stress uh, we will have yoga sessions we will have uh, meditations we will have many things uh, which would help you to manage stress we would have uh, you know the sessions on time management that we will have on sunday uh, that should also help you uh, uh in terms of qualities of leadership i think uh, as we progress uh, you know going further uh, when we enter into the regular uh, sessions you will see that there is much much more uh, that we will talk about qualities of good leaders and how to emulate them and and what to look of it so there are there are videos of stephen covey that are interspersed in the workshop and uh, you know he is a very powerful speaker and uh, uh, i think uh, they they will also make a meaningful impact a, a, a key difference to our understanding of these qualities of good leaders so uh, yeah so uh, others please share good morning sir yes good morning mr anand and uh, menka here i am from uttarakhand we have a session in terms of sustainability action goals uh, in terms of sustainability action goals in leadership excellence uh, yeah we will talk about sustainability and excellence we will definitely talk, that probably we will talk about today prem anand yes sir okay. yeah thank you menka Uh, i am from uttarakhand uh, head of the department of mathematics gd virla memorial school and i am um, looking forward to uh, um, from this workshop uh, time management uh, interpersonal and interpersonal uh, relationship and uh, stress management and the skills required for the leadership mhm mm Uh, that's all, so when you talk about interpersonal relationships mereka what is it that you are you think you are struggling with today and you would want to improve uh, sir actually whenever please, you please call me anuj mereka okay uh, mr anuj uh, whenever we um, means uh, deal with the people so this is a very important thing to learn how to uh, deal with the students with the staff or anyone uh, your colleagues Uh, means everywhere it is required it is not like that in the workplace only 
it requires everywhere even it is starts from the home also so that's why uh, i'm looking forward to see this sure so uh, definitely we will talk about you know these interpersonal relationships uh, you will see that you know a very strong message that stephen gives us that our first energies should go into developing ourselves only once we've done that should we enter into you know leadership roles or something like that so we will start with you know leading self as you saw in the schedule we will start with leading self and then gradually if we will move to leading others and then when we move to leading others that is on monday and tuesday we will actually talk about how to manage interpersonal relationships and how to create a, a collaborative and a creative workspace where each one of us grows to you know unbounded possibilities so we will look into those aspects on uh, monday and tuesday menka thank you for sharing anna yes tushti yeah hi this is tushti here uh, like i have been uh, conducting life skill and soft skill classes for the management engineering students for like around 20 years wow at this time like uh, as we have started session in the month of september i faced a little difficulty while interacting with the students because i am conducting lectures for the second year and they had the first year during corona and that was online classes so that was really difficult time i was sharing some session with them yesterday for self introduction and suddenly a talk came in between that uh, we should give back to the society now i plan to give an activity that how should they give back to the society because they've gained a lot of things lot of support sympathy in such a turmoil period of uh, corona so i was wondering then i recall this i am going to get connected to a wonderful fdp session this week so it might bring me something so that i can introduce into my training sessions so i'm exactly looking forward for that the unprecedented times of um, corona or covid 19 how they faced it now how they should come back in the full zeal and enthusiasm and then they gain it from their management studies so that i'm looking for and i think the lot of people have discussed a lot of things around like time management managing stress and we are going to have some wonderful session on the same thing and and this thing is also emphasized that how should we face all this <laughs> you know because we never expect such a change in our life it it yeah. totally changed us from a physical self to a digital personality see i am talking to so many people and like i'm not visible <laughs> only my voice is producing the message <laughs> yes so uh, thank you tushti in fact uh, i'm so glad to know that you've been a life skills trainer and and have been teaching life skills to your students for so many years so i would uh, request you to be a co facilitator i would want you to help me when when i struggle because uh, uh, it is about life uh, you know it, it can happen it can happen that something comes up which i am completely clueless about and uh, you having been teaching this you would probably know Uh, some other ideas and i would really look forward to your active participation so, and so. sharing in the next 5 days yeah yeah thank you so much thank I'll you thank really you for joining in and thank you for sharing thank you anuj thank you everyone atul ha huh, good morning dr anuj uh, sorry i i am having little bit kya kehte hain sore throat issue and viral fever so basically i am uh, glad to be part of this workshop because this kind of workshop will be very useful for me because i am working as a in charge of the central research facility of iit delhi so basically i am looking for key how to improve the leadership quality because i am dealing with uh, day by day to the directors and at the other time i am dealing with the group the staffs also so uh basically talking ki if you talking with the uh, someone is very higher uh, higher key so your pitch and uh, sound quality will be the different and when you are talking with uh, some labor caste of people so your pitch quality will be different so i'm facing because sometime i have a complaint from higher authorities ki now your tone and other things are changing so how to manage this kind of things because now this kind of facility which we are dealing with is having the 200 crores rupees Uh, instruments so definitely i am dealing with uh, all across the country also uh, 
सो आई वॉन्ट टू लर्न की हाउ टू इंक्रीज द क्या कहते हैं कम्युनिकेशन स्किल वेन वी आर डीलिंग विद डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन एंड सेकेंड थिंग द लीडरशिप क्वालिटी एंड थर्ड एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर पार्ट फॉर मी द मेडिटेशन बिकॉज आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम सम सीरियस हार्ट इश्यू माई वॉल्व इज नॉट वर्किंग सो वेन आई वॉज इन माई ग्रेजुएशन एट आई टी बॉम्बे सो फ्रॉम लास्ट टेन ईयर्स आई वॉन्ट to be uh, go for the open heart surgery but i am avoiding it so that's also a very main part for me so uh, we will talk about communication skills we will we will definitely talk about communication skills in a big way on i think uh, third and fourth day that is monday and tuesday uh, okay. as to how to how to effectively you know communicate so we will talk about different types of communication yeah and uh, what kind of communication to be used in which setting we will we will also talk about that sure and uh, we will also talk about this uh, you know uh, empathy and heart to heart communication which is very important in our interpersonal relationships you know yes with yes friends, with i our agree family we will also yeah. talk about that but you are absolutely right you you do not have the same kind of a communication in every setting so we will yes. talk about that distinction and how to differentiate as to uh, and how to choose which communication to pick up uh, which yes. style of communication to pick up in different settings so yes, we will we will definitely cover that as well and uh, as you already know we will have uh, sessions on health and and we will have yeah. some meditations um, yes, i yes. believe it will help you to you know uh, manage your health better uh, yes, these are very yes. simple exercises that we'll be doing tomorrow and yes, uh, yes. on a daily basis if we do them just 10 minutes 20 minutes i think they will bring a big difference Okay. and uh, the meditation also are very powerful uh, what the the series of meditations that we'll be doing are called uh, chit shakti meditations so which which in, fa- in fact emphasize that we are the creators of our destiny yes, and yes. Uh, we will we will use these meditations to bring you know health peace uh, love and success to our lives so yes, yes. i i i hope that uh, you will take back uh, sufficient stuff from this this workshop as as the workshop yeah. closes yeah thanks welcome, welcome atul again monica uh, yeah uh, hello dr anuj and hello to everyone so uh, anuj uh, what i'm looking from this uh, workshop as i said uh, i've taken uh, most of the subject based workshop so far but this workshop is quite different and uh, it's for the first time i've taken this workshop after uh, attending a lot of uh, you know uh, talks on uh, bk shivani ji i'm one of her uh, fan yeah so i've been doing it daily and uh, what i think is anuj maybe that's a reflection of her as well a bit but what i think is uh, leading a meaningful life and having a strong fundamental base is the most important thing so uh, being a uh, basic human being is what i think is most important to have uh to be a leader so uh, anuj what i see uh, just as i want to become a leader you know uh, all human beings around me and they are really really beautiful people everyone yes monica please continue sometimes i can face situations where they may not be of my opinion and then uh, since i have a habit of doing what is right which i think what is right i may get into confrontation with others you know so uh, what i what i would like for is how to confront very peacefully or what power should i have to confront with others uh, or i should say when should i confront and when should not i not confront how to decide that and uh, also not taking that shortcuts to become leader you know everyone wants to become a leader i want to become like director or something having more higher positions so i was awarded this uh, schlumberger foundation faculty for the future award where i could take my post doctorate from university of cambridge and that is basically a women empowerment award and uh, uh, so a few of the countries uh, uh, people uh, faculty they participate and they are selected but you know uh, they, i realized that it's good to get excellent in your subject area but becoming a leader is something different 
because there are so many people who would be following you so uh, and that should be reflected to everyone so everyone who is coming that must get that zeal enthusiasm after seeing you as a leader which i feel when i see in usual uh, it's more of like uh, we are in a fast world so we have to take up everything maybe whatever the way so i i, I think uh, maybe i become a leader or not but uh, most important for me is how to lead myself to more sustainable and more meaningful life which can definitely i think sometime some day with uh, transform into a leader so i think uh, improving self and then becoming a leader is what i'm looking for so what would be ways you would suggest me and beautiful monica others? thank you for sharing this in fact uh, the sunday morning session that is exactly about how to live a meaningful life how to make a, how to how to live a life which uh, leads us uh, to not not only add meaning to our lives but also to contribute to other people's lives around us so that session is essentially about that so please uh, please definitely attend that yeah, session yeah sure sure and yeah, uh, in terms of how to you know manage confrontation when to confront when not to confront uh, we will cover something uh, probably today uh, probably tomorrow but uh, which is about a fundamental principle a foundational principle that we'll be covering today uh, and uh, then we will talk about how to manage confrontation uh, or how to manage our relationships uh, much better uh, on monday and tuesday so we will definitely take those up on those two days but we will set the base for that today itself so you will see that uh, Uh, so you know you will see that uh, these five days are actually building over one another what we do today we will use tomorrow day after and even the next two days what we do tomorrow we will use you know day after and and the next so you will see that we are kind of uh, going into a upward spiral you know where we will cover topics in a particular manner and they are being used in the subsequent session so uh, that's where it's important to be a part of various sessions and uh, participate actively so that the next sessions also become equally meaningful for all of us so thank you monica for sharing and i, I hope that we will be able to take you know uh, take back something that you find meaningful from this workshop by the end of it welcome Bye. welcome to the workshop ala yeah. melu hi no uh, actually uh, this is about your sessions i have uh, two different things i would like to discuss sir uh, one is about your sessions and you have asked us to bring some yoga mat etc for the uh, session actually we are all working professionals and uh, we'll be in work uh, so i don't know to what extent we can cooperate with those things uh, because uh, during the weekends uh, probably we are at home and we can do whatever you insist uh, so uh, even though you would like to do on work do is uh, we will not be permitted to do those things sir uh. i hope that you will understand uh, and you just uh, just suggest me what we can do with yeah. that so right. we will we will essentially need a yoga mat only tomorrow when okay. we will be doing those yoga exercises okay that is where we have this uh, changed lunch schedule also for tomorrow because i want you to be empty stomach by the time we start yoga so uh, tomorrow being a saturday would it work for you from 3 to 5 pm if you have a yoga mat will you be able to fine. manage fine yeah. fine the remaining days uh, that is monday which is a working day and probably tuesday might be a holiday for you may not be i do not know but uh, the remaining days the evening session uh, we are usually doing only uh, what do you say meditations so these meditations uh, you can do sitting on the floor you can uh, what is important is that you need a back rest okay so you need to uh, rest your back against a wall or or a chair or anything and uh, you can actually be sitting in the chair and doing those meditations also so you do not really need a yoga mat or something special in fact uh, mohan was sharing that he would be traveling and i did not mention it to him at that time but these meditations if he is not driving at least you know, he can you can do these meditations even when he is traveling ye number pe kar di number pe phone pe kar do okay so uh, i think uh, that should be uh, that should be helpful alamelu Yes, uh, that would be fine. Great. And another thing is uh, regarding the outcome that you are discussing about this uh, session, sir. See, all of us uh, we are expecting some outcome out of this. We would like to excel in our career or whatever it is. Ultimately, we need to be happy. 
See, yes. in workplace, one important thing we I just come across is uh, maybe uh, earlier also she discussed the same. Uh, we may think that something is correct, and but uh, we'll not be able to admit uh, uh, certain things at workplace. We don't know how to manage those things uh, because ultimately it makes us unhappy. So even we bring the same uh, even after our work. So uh, the entire life seems to be unhappy just because of one particular incident. Hmm. So those things uh, uh, we need to manage. We would like to know. Yes. So uh, definitely, uh, as I mentioned, we will cover something about it. What is correct? What is not correct? And and stuff like that. We will we will see uh, you know a uh, kind of a formula <laughs> a formula to help us open up and uh, and be open to our ideas other than ours. And uh, there could be and, and also the possibility that there could be more than one correct thing. Okay, that I have some ideas, I have some thoughts, but there could be something else which is also correct. We will look into those aspects today, and we will also look at it at these aspects tomorrow and day after. So, uh, and in terms of how to manage conflict, we will definitely we will definitely look into this on uh, I think Monday. Thank you, Anuj. Thank you. Okay. Now, welcome, Alamir. Welcome again. Uh, so, um, Mr. Anuj, I'm Subramanyam. Yes, Tomorrow Subramanyam. we are having the college. Uh, so uh, I think it's not possible to have that um, yoga mat evening 3 to 5. So normal we can. Because college is working tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So if you're not able to arrange a yoga mat, that is fine. What is important is that you should be able to fa- find a, you know, a 3 feet cross 3 feet space. Can you find that kind yeah. of a space for yourself? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, if you can find that kind of a space, three feet cross three feet or three feet cross six feet, uh, we will be able to do the exercises that we are discussing for tomorrow. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, thank okay. you. So we just need to stretch our hands on the left and right, front and, yeah. and stuff like that. So they're very simple, simple exercises. Uh, if you don't have a yoga mat, please don't take stress. If you have, that's great. If you don't have, don't yeah. take stress. Be with, the, be with the session, be with the process. That is what is more important. Oh, okay, thank you. So are we done with all the expectations? Uh, yeah, Rajnarayan, please. Oh, no, no, no. Friends, so uh, we've looked at uh, a wide range of expectations. Many of us shared that you'd want to uh, many of us shared that we want to know more about time management. Shabir, you wanted to say something? Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Hi, Arij. I am Dr. Shabir. Uh, earlier, uh, about 20, 25 years, I was the uniform officer in a commanding position. But due to some difference of opinion, the senior, I resigned and I joined the academic field. Being a uniform officer, you know, sometimes you become the autocratic nature. But this was, I believe this was not with me because I was the HR day student. I did my MBA in the HR and PhD in the HR only. So it was not with me. But sometime I, in these couple of years, I noticed that I am more on the time management, on time frame, take this task, deliver me in this particular time. Or you give me the time and deliver it. If you fail naturally, so I get sometimes I get annoyed even with my seniors. See, this is not good. You said to deliver in these hours, I deliver it. Now it is your time to deliver it. So no excuses. Sometimes it is happened. That sometimes people feel, oh no, he is he is in the autocratic mode. I don't know whether I am in autocratic mode or not, but I am trying to to justify the, my job. When I promise to deliver in X hours, so I pro- I deliver you before that. So I expect from you also or my colleagues also. But generally they fail or they take the less disparity of karenge like a government teachers, university. Are yar, I was busy, so they don't fulfill their committed commitment. So sometimes I get annoyed. So I, I just wanted to overcome this. How to do that? Because it is not in my hand. If it is in my hand, so I can do that. Mm-hmm. 
So, so I need your advice on this also, whether I'm right, wrong, or I should do like the less is fair attitude of others. So I need your advice. Yeah, is it right if I put this this expectation as you know how to handle other people's limitations and weaknesses? Yeah, you can put in that. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. So we will we will look at this in a in a in much more detail tomorrow morning. And okay. uh, uh, so this is my expectations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I understand. So we will look at it in much more detail tomorrow morning, as to how to handle uh, other people's limitations or weaknesses and then we will also look at you know when we will talk about uh, uh, interpersonal relationships when we will talk about them then we will look at uh, what the how to enter into what is called as win win agreements you know how to ensure that uh, while i uh, help you win you also help me win and so on so uh, that will be day 4 that is monday so uh, i think we would have you will have something to take back and it is when those discussions come in i would want you to jump in shabir and and share your thoughts and share your challenges and let's brainstorm together to find solutions yeah i will try to be active participant in this yeah but i noticed from just from last two years this covid 19 time remaining at home i think this kind of things i am developing i am feeling in my my these things my behavior so that's why i said okay let me check even though i was i wanted to attend the other cyber security things which was my pet subject then i switched no no this is this is good at this time i must this. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining here shabir it's it's yeah. so uh, kind of you to have taken this decision because uh, i am confident that when you share your ideas your challenges and your thoughts and when we brainstorm around those together i think all of us will learn things in a in a very different way and a very meaningful way so i look forward to your active participation yeah. in the next two five days definitely i will try to be active thank you anuj need your guidance yeah thank you shabir thank you and welcome again uh hi uh this i just want to add two more topics here is one is virtual leadership and how to manage the changes that we are facing that two slides if you can add earlier i said that some topics here and you can add this two uh, slides if you can this like virtual leadership or um, so uh, one topic that you are saying premanand is how to manage change am i right yes yes uh manage is dealing with change Okay, how to deal change, deal with change. Okay, and the second is virtual leadership. Virtual leadership. The leadership is face-to-face interaction. How you can develop the high emotional intelligence to share team empowerment kind of things. Like maybe if you can also help us to know to understand the new culture, collaboration, and engagement with other people. Um, we are nowadays we are maximize using of online tools while perfecting. Our technical skills to use our tool efficiency. Certain things that if we can come up with the virtual leadership, I'm sure that will definitely help us to lead our digital digital world to be a successful in the future. So, is it okay if I club that into these this discussion on qualities of a good leader or qualities of leadership? Do you think that would that would be a good place to put that in? qualities of leadership is fine but uh, virtual uh, leadership is something which connecting uh, that leadership with uh, traditional way into a leader digital way of forming like kind of online classes like how we can maintain the leadership you know like you are standing in the classroom and talking with 60 50 children like you can also show that your leadership in terms of your communication in terms of dealing with subject but dealing with the digital kind of things uh, students might not attending a full class rooms you know you can able to see in online very few students are coming up in very in early say then slowly the days are gone the students are keep on no like uh, we don't know whether the students are attending or they are involved in the subject or not so we talk virtual leadership how to maintain the virtual leadership within this bound and making us to be uh, uh, setting ourselves to actually uh, That's so, cool. does this uh, this this section that I added, how to be a leader in a virtual setting, does that? Better, uh, better, better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Perfect. Perfect. And Thank also, you. you Thank can you also for sharing. Me or, and you can also add that kind of uh, dealing with the changes. Very very important. But we are. Yeah, that I already added. How to deal with the change? That's the right. first point there on the top right. 
on the top left. Thank you, thank you, Arunj. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, and welcome, uh, Subhani. Yes, sir. Anything else? Or are we done? Hello, sir. Yes, Taitra. Uh, sir, good morning, sir. Uh, just I just wanted to add one more uh, thing here. Uh, that means, uh, well, we are uh, we have done with the uh, classes uh, uh, in Corona time, where uh, uh, it's difficult uh, for the students uh, uh, to come to the classes, and uh, virtually we have done. So, uh, as Sir said, how to know the mental ability? That means how to be excellence uh, towards the. Uh, knowing the how, how students are feeling that's also can be one one thing we can add that's the one thing yeah, yeah. is it okay if i consider that as a part of uh, these interpersonal relationships and uh, we say that uh, how are students uh, feeling yes sir mm, yes sir be yes sir because huh? they they are not in a position to come to the uh, college yeah. and uh, uh, virtually they are into uh, Uh, taking classes so definitely we are in a trouble also and they are also in a trouble so hmm. how to handle the, handle the, those situations yeah so that so, is one thing huh. yeah so uh, you know uh, what are you know uh, how are students feeling uh, what is their mental state especially when you know uh, in a we are in a virtual setting yes because yes we physically around we can see we can uh, study the body language we can get ideas but if they are if they are far away then um, this is a very very big challenge and and thank you for bringing it up chaitra thank uh, you sir thank uh, you sir. let us let us look into it together as we move into you know on the habit 5 and we talk about interpersonal relationships and communication there yes sir sure sir thank you sir definitely we can talk about it sure any other ideas you want to add something more uh good morning sir this is bama from parikalan hi bama please call me anuj hey anuj sir uh, sorry <laughs> anyway sir uh i am ms in psychology and i just finished my bba and i am working in a school um yes i am expecting to ask about some cyber uh, management hello sir yeah cyber management what do you mean by that bama please no uh, cyber security and mental health yeah health mental health we will definitely talk about uh, cyber security because uh, nowadays students are using their mobile cyber safety yeah so cyber security is not exactly violence. yeah so bama cyber security is not exactly a part of this workshop this workshop is on life skills and uh, uh, cyber security uh, as shavi also mentioned there's a separate set of workshops on you know dedicated to cyber security i would strongly recommend that you pursue one of those uh, to know cyber security in much more detail uh, basic precautions we can talk about but uh, i don't think that i am even a little bit of an expert in cyber security so i would rather not vent venture into that domain and uh, shavi he mentioned that he has interest in that so probably if he is willing and if you are willing you can interact on the sidelines of this uh, workshop and uh, and get to know each other better and get to understand the nuances of cyber security uh, would that help mama but uh, that is not really in the purview of this workshop okay sir okay but we can uh, talk about that empower relationship with our thoughts Right. Yeah, yeah. So mental health issues uh, and uh, and relationships we will definitely talk about over the next five days. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Bama, for sharing and welcome to this session. Thank you, sir. Yes. Premanand, you want to add something more? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, two things I would like to see that uh, why don't we can talk about more on focus and strategic planning in uh, that is sometimes we are not uh, able to uh, uh, have the strategic planning in meeting the focus to cooperate the success. Uh, that is when help me out of to focus is really lacking. Uh, sometimes we are doing some more works might be that really lack. So with focus. and strategic planning in terms uh, of connecting you are going up so uh, premanand no. uh, we will no. we will definitely talk about pillow pillow uh, uh, pillow how you 
uh, we will definitely talk about focus and yes, we will talk yes. about uh, uh, you know long term vision for our lives and stuff like that for our organizations that also but strategic planning is a very specific activity and a very specific term it requires uh, it it actually uh, touches upon many different dimensions from market analysis to so many things okay. so uh, that is not really on the agenda of this workshop uh, but you will see that how to manage our lives and what is uh, what is uh, you know strategy for us we will look at those things but uh, if you if you really so, look at um, this um, i'm just planning yeah. i think a, a specific workshop on that is also being organized by atul it would be good to add that into your portfolio also better better because it's not to understand the leadership role that leaders like to take forward that is a small strategic will be good i felt in terms yeah. of talking about so again this is connecting with self this is about leading self to excellence so this is yes. about more about self so we'll talk about strategies for ourselves premanand we'll not yes, really yes. be talking about strategies for organizations and uh, and and the like uh, okay okay so i just wanted to say something uh, barack obama, obama like a lot of people have spoke about the strategy so if you take some small small examples maybe we can take yeah, yeah. strategies to do that we'll look into that That, that, that. and i think self we will definitely look into the strategies for that and how to strategize so that we are we are able to have a joyful happy life yes that yes, all yes, we will sure. do but yes, managing yes. or strategic planning in terms of uh, organizational planning uh, that is not really on the purview of this workshop correct, correct. yeah yeah okay. and one more uh, topic which will be why don't we can add self awareness to uh, taking leaders to have the self respect or self reflect on their emotions strength and weakness because that would be okay if we manage effectively uh, manage ourselves uh, to be so strong uh, yes so self awareness topics we will talk about uh, in fact we have meditation so we will talk about awareness there we will talk about uh, uh, you know self awareness is something which is which is a very important endowment that each one of us has so mm -hmm. when we will talk about you know managing self Managing stress, yes, yeah. We will definitely talk about self-awareness. Yeah. Thank you, Anushi. Yeah. Welcome, Premanand, again. Uh, so, Sini, yes, uh, I I check you. I see your comment in the chat window, and uh, you're absolutely right that excellence doesn't simply happen. It is created by persistent, planned effort and perseverance. And and you will see that that is what we will actually will focus on uh, over the next four five days, and we will see uh, you know how to. plan our efforts in such a way that we are able to excel we are able to do better and lead an effective meaningful life so thank you for sharing these thoughts sini so uh, thank you friends thanks a lot for sharing your thoughts and your ideas uh, we have a very broad list of uh, expectations and as i shared uh, what i have listed down on this mind map we will be covering most of it in one session or another and uh, please please be a part of it actively participate and share your challenges share your learning so that all of us can learn from each other okay so with that uh, let me uh, move back to the uh, to the presentation mode and we will then uh, and i think we will be to a, in a state where we would kind of uh, end the session but yeah um, while the introductions are happening i also wanted to introduce myself but i think we jumped into how or what our expectations are and and therefore this part got lost so let me introduce myself also formally my name as you know is anuj grover and uh, i uh, did my btech from iit delhi uh, in 2000 i graduated in 2000 and then i went to the us to pursue masters uh, in electronics from university of california san diego uh then uh, as continued work so between my btech and my masters i did, i worked with st microelectronics and then i continued to work with st microelectronics after i came back to india after completing my masters and then somewhere i started to you know pursue phd from iit delhi and uh, then i i i simultaneously also started to teach at triple iit delhi as a guest faculty but after my phd was complete and uh, i felt that no i i need to take a full head on plunge into academia that was when i shifted to 
triple i to delhi in february 2019 so that's more than two and a half years now but it's a wonderful experience i love to interact with students i'm having fun in terms of uh, you know my areas of research i'm a dlsi designer uh, i have i i i work primarily on low power circuits and systems on stuff like in memory compute and safety and security in circuits but simultaneously i also you know work on uh, uh leadership i work on innovation i am a uh, how do we put it i am a, a tris level 3 certified practitioner uh, tris is a method tris is a um, technique through which uh, one can make the best use of available resources uh, in any given situation in any given problem statement and uh, and make a you know identify good solutions which do not uh, compromise between uh, competing targets okay so how to create a win win even in technical problem solving is something that i am very fascinated with and i work on so uh, we looked at our ex uh, our, our expectations from this workshop but uh, i will also want to share over here as to what brings me here like Uh, you all have expectations and you all come here with something to take back and i think it is also fair for me to share what brings me here so uh, for me this workshop is indeed an opportunity to to learn a lot from your experiences to interact with so many of you to see uh, uh, you know how you are facing challenges in your lives and how you are handling them and if i can be of any help by offering what i have learned through these past 20 20 years of work experience and uh, you know much longer lifespan uh, how i can probably add something to you and how i can learn from your experiences how i can be a better human being that is what i want to take back from this workshop uh, in my experience you know i've conducted more than 50 such sessions 50 workshops of different durations and uh, lengths uh, uh, different different audience different uh, settings and my experience has been that every workshop has been a growing experience for me i have learned something new and uh, in fact uh, every workshop is co-facilitated you know you and i together will create this workshop this five day workshop it is not my workshop it is our workshop and i am i'm myself excited and uh, enthusiastic to see what we co-create uh, in the next five days so uh, every creation is beautiful and uh, if we if we put our heart and soul into it what we will come up with will something will be something that we'll all be proud of so uh, that is what i you know i'm here for this session or this kind of a session has been truly transformational for me it changed the course of my life you know uh, as i mentioned uh, it was while i was at st that i decided to start to pursue uh, phd uh what happened was that i actually did this training this this particular training and the session that we will be doing on sunday morning that particular session was so powerful that it gave me this clarity of thought that i would want to be a teacher i would want to be in an academic setting and i would want to uh you know uh interact with students and influence lives in a meaningful way so it was then that i said okay if i want to be a faculty member somewhere uh uh you know i would rather have a phd and join a place like iit or triple iit and and something like this and that was where i started the phd journey in the first place so this these five days can be truly transformational for you also as they were for me and uh, i really wish that they are they, they make a positive impact on you they they bring something to you which you would not have otherwise uh, thought of or or seen okay so with that uh, we will you know close this session uh, our next session will start at 12 and that will be the first session on foundations of effectiveness as i mentioned already we will start with a short quiz and uh, uh, we will start with that short quiz so it is good that you join on time so that you can uh, participate in that quiz and uh, and work and and you know that aict requirement that we have uh, the one where you have to score at least 60% and have 80% uh, attendance so your participation in the quiz will also mark your attendance by the way uh, 
So it is important that you mark your attendance for the previous session and at least that you join this session uh, by participating in the quiz and you add up your total tally of marks by responding to the quiz. Uh, you will notice that the quiz is very simple. It does not ask you too much. It is a very simple thing. And uh, so don't fret about it. It will be completely based on whatever we discuss in this session. Nothing new will be covered up, nothing, nothing. We will not talk about talk about anything that we have not discussed in this session. So I will create the quiz in, in the intervening period and, and I will then make it online. So there will be nothing that we have not discussed that will put in the quiz. So you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to take stress about it. You just be a part of the session and the quiz will be a cakewalk. Okay. So just, uh, just be here on time. So the next session starts at noon. Uh, try to try to join the session, you know, a few minutes in advance. We will have some music playing. It will help you settle down. And, uh, and, and looking forward to a wonderful next five days with all of you. Thank you and, and see you in a little. Have fun. So Anuj is going to start at 12? Yes, the next session will start at 12. And with that, right, we will start you. with a short quiz. Anuj, will it uh, be like a, a Google link or something which we can get on WhatsApp? Uh, For the quiz? Yeah. Uh, we can do that, but the challenge then is that uh, uh, I will not be able to use that as a written then. If I share it on the screen uh, on the chat window over here, then you will be able to use that as attendance also. So it serves the dual purpose. Otherwise, we will end up wasting some time in attendance and all that. Yeah, stuff Nike. To avoid. Nike. Nike. Is that okay, Monica? Yeah, yeah. So it's a Google link, right? Google yeah, form? Yeah, yeah, it will be a Google form. It will be a Google form. The first one will not be auto evaluated. But from the second session, from the next session onwards, the forms will be auto evaluated. You will know what score you have right away as you okay, close the quiz. Right. That's okay. right. And the yeah. time, uh, uh, there will be limited time for that? Yeah, we will start the session with a quiz. We will have around five minutes, hardly two or three questions any. So hardly two or three questions, not more than five minutes would be required. And then we will move to the session. That's fine. Thank you. Hello, Anuj. Uh, yes, Seshu. One uh, one clarification, uh, if you send any Google link and if it opens in Google form, my system may not uh, submit uh, such answers. It is giving some issue. Uh, last time you I can, tried with one. Yeah, you can try, you can try from your phone, some other device. Uh, yeah, chart window is good enough. Yeah, so I will give it in the chat window. And you, uh, when you submit the form, you can do it from, uh, you can do it from, uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, your your device, your mobile phone, you just click on the uh, link. Uh, correct. Uh, what is happening is if I do that, the uh, window itself is getting closed for some reason. Ah, okay. So, uh, uh, do you have, I can uh, submit via our chat. No, chat may not be possible because then you will not be, see the Google form evaluates okay. the responses by itself. Mm. Okay. Zoom, Zoom ke saath shayad aasa nahi hoga se shu. Just let's just try that. Okay, and okay, I'll try. If yeah, I face it, that and if you're facing problems, we'll see later. Hello, 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 Harish uh, Dosan. I I just want to uh, ask one thing. As I'm driving right now, so uh, if I miss any session, could you please help me with the videos? Can you share it uh, after the session? Yeah, the videos will be uploaded on YouTube. Uh, I think by the end of the day, I will upload the videos for today. And I no, uh, actually, actually, I'm asking this because if I'm driving and I, if I, I'm missing any session, then I won't be able to get the quiz. Because I won't be able to uh, like, uh, get the knowledge from that. Then what, how I can make it possible. As I said, we will post the videos on a daily basis. So to all the, all the sessions, key videos of today, I will post by the evening. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. All the best, Harsh. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you joining. Thank you. So, thank you, everyone. See you at uh, 12 then. Uh, please join a little bit in advance so that uh, we are able to start the quiz on time and uh, wind up things on time. See you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.